Hi right, everyone, Cody here. Looks like the cows have been fertilizing the grass. But I'm back at the mine because we recently had a magnitude 5.7 earthquake. So I really want to see what it did inside the mine. Looks like there's a few rocks falling down here. But that could just be weather that did that. Let's go in and have a look, shall we? Oh, I took my pipe down, didn't I? Oh well. Oh no, I left it there. All right. I have a flashlight. Doesn't look like it collapsed or nothing. Now remember, I cleared this out of any rocks, so. Those pebbles that are there might have fallen down. My parents, who of course live nearby, say that there was quite strong shaking in their house. Things fell off of shelves and that sort of thing. But I really saved maybe a couple of little stones out of place. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, that. That slid, I can tell. There's a little pile of gravel there that wasn't there before. But that's it. Doesn't look like there's any cracks or anything. No. Nope. That earthquake did next to nothing. That's interesting. I'm tempted to go Let's see that rock there that might have been there, I'm not sure. I'm tempted to go up to one of the other mines and see that as well. So here's something that's interesting. I think I even filmed this part of the road uh, in my last mine video. And these rocks were not here. See that? We've got some rocks that fell. You know, from up there or up there. You know, usually we have a few rocks that come down every year due to frost heaving and such. You just kind of gotta get off the four wheeler occasionally and throw them out. I think that one's new too. Yeah, these, these are definitely earthquake caused. Interesting. Yeah, these rocks here are definitely new. They weren't there a couple of weeks ago when I came through here last. We haven't had a lot of snow and frost since then, so. They definitely came down during the earthquake. trickier to move. I'll manage. Now I blame all this on the earthquake, but uh, it was like that when I was here last, and it tends to do that every year. Let's have a look inside. Now there's a fault line running right through here. Doesn't look like any of that's moved. Look up in there. Yeah, it's all the same. I don't see any rocks out of the ordinary. Maybe a few.
didn't touch it at all by the looks of it. So I've come down to this uh, big limestone quarry here. Let's see what the earthquake did to it. That rock looks out of place, but I know that was there already. Um, I'll head down there in a minute, trying to find rocks that are freshly fallen. I mean, rocks are always falling. That up there looks like a fresh fall. I don't remember that being there. Let's see. There's a rock. Yeah, that's fresh. See that plant's even still green underneath of it. So this one fell in the last little while. Uh, is that one new? Gonna be hard to tell <laughs> what fell in the last week. It's too bad I couldn't get here before it rained, so then there'd still be dust. Ooh, that's a fresh hit right there. That's an old, that's fresh, see, it's still powdery, even though it rained. So, I can definitely see that some rocks fell. I don't see anything catastrophic. Ooh, here's a fresh impact. So the rock must have fallen down from up there and bounced. I can actually, now that I'm looking, I can see a bunch of little impact marks that are fresh. This must be one of the rocks that fell. Yeah, fresh broken powder. Like, where's Waldo Geology Edition? Which rocks have moved recently? <laughs> I'm playing on hard mode because it's rained and dust has been washed off. That up there looks pretty fresh. Let's have a look at these. Yeah, these rocks have definitely rubbed against each other pretty recently. But the question is, is that last week or in the last year? Is this material brought down due to an earthquake or due to frost damage? Yeah, that's pretty new. That's very new. So, yeah, this, my guess is yes, this here did slide during the earthquake. I've only got like a 70% confidence on that. <laughs> well, here we are inside of another mine. Looks like nothing has fallen down since I last was here. Most of the changes I've seen were out on the surface and not even that much at that. And that makes sense. Uh, earthquakes, they attenuate. You know, it's only a magnitude 5 earthquake 15, 20 miles away. Most of its energy is gone at that point. Uh, but also the P and the S waves, the primary, the compression waves, and the shear waves that travel through the body of the Earth, those don't actually do much damage. They don't have that much deflection. It's the Rayleigh waves that travel across the surface that do the damage. Those are the uh, ripples in a pond. If you throw a rock into a pond, if you think about it, the compression wave travels through the water at 10 kilometers per second. So as soon as that rock hits the water, the compression waves are to the other side, basically, instantly. But the ripples, the things that actually can move the duck up and down, those travel at walking pace. And that's similar for earthquakes. Except solid earth rather than liquid. 
In case you're wondering, I was just dropping by my parents' place uh, while I was heading back here to water my plants and stuff. They weren't actually home, so I never actually met anyone. Still doing the self-isolation thing. The earthquake, of course, comes at a bad time. With the virus going around, we, we don't need more natural disasters. But of course, actually one of my friends, uh, his job got shut down because of the earthquake. There's the damage to the building. They're right over top of the epicenter. And they would have been shut down anyway because of the virus. So it actually worked out kind of well. Uh, one more thing that I'll mention is I've seen a lot of people saying that this earthquake will trigger others, and that may be true. I think it's unlikely. But if it does trigger another earthquake, it's not going to be a magnitude 9. It's not going to be anything like that. The most we get here in Utah is like 6 and 7s. Magnitude 9, you need tectonic plates subducting under and getting caught and then suddenly thrusting. You don't have that here. Here you've got extensional faults where you just got blocks of rock sinking down as the ground is being pulled apart. You're not going to get those kinds of stresses needed for those major earthquakes in that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Feed the fishes. Feed the fishes.